desired of all nation our desire our heart cry this morning to worship you to worship you in truth and in spirit father accept our worship oh lord accept us accept our worship this morning in the mighty name of jesus father we want to thank you we thank you for your love for your kindness for your mercy for your steadfast love that never ceases, ancient of day, from ages to ages, you will continue to be our God. You never fail, you never change. Father, we thank you. Thank you for helping us, oh Lord, through the first half of the year 2022. You that will lead us from January, February, March, April, May, even to the last Sunday in the month of June. You will surely see us to July, August, September, October, November, and December. Father, we thank you, O Lord. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you especially for this month of June. The month six is a unique number. The month of praise. We've been praising you. Father, the praise of your name will not depart from our mouth. Every day of our life, we will praise you. We will worship you. We will honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, I surrender myself unto you, Lord. Of my own, I can do nothing. I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, I surrender myself unto you, O Lord. Let, help me not to speak of self, O Lord, but of whatever you have put in my mouth, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And at the end, let your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray this morning, let power change and O Lord. In the life of every individual this morning, let power change and O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In any area that we have not been well positioned for favor, in any area we have not been knocking or we are knocking but the door has not been opened. Father, by the reason of your word this morning, Father, by our persistence in worship this morning, Father, let the doors be open, O oh Lord. As we knock, let it be open, O oh Lord. As we search, may we find you, O oh Lord. As we seek, may we find you, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Blessed be to your name, O Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we are free. Praise the Lord. 
praise the living Jesus. The Lord bless each and every one of us. Good morning. Good morning. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Uphold and strengthen you in Jesus' name. I pray that the things of celebration will not depart from your life. It will not depart from your home. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to bless the name of the Lord for every one of us that make it to church this morning. And uh, today, as I stand upon the altar, I have not discussed with it anybody. But every last Sunday, every first Sunday of the month, we will call you out. For all those that are celebrating their birthday, we will call you out, we will pray for you. But on the last Sunday, the power must change that. You must invite your friends and family because the church will celebrate you. We will celebrate everyone that is born on every month. The things of celebration will not depart from our altar in the mighty name of Jesus. So the celebration of today goes to all the people that are born Oh, both old and young in the month of June. I celebrate you and the heaven celebrates you in Jesus' name. I want to personally recognize one of my, she my auntie or mommy or what will I call it, all the way from Nigeria, senior advocate. She's a senior advocate of Nigeria in Abuja. Mommy Kosan Kodri, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. The assignment that God has called you, as a senior advocate in Nigeria, the Almighty God will work with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not fail, you will not disappoint God. As you are here celebrating with us, nobody will take your position as senior advocate in Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you, we appreciate you, we celebrate you, mommy. God bless you, ma. I'm so happy, I rejoice when I saw her, honestly, you know. Uh, God bless you, ma. God bless you, my dear Lord, we celebrate you too in Jesus' name. So we want to look at, uh, today is the day of prayer, but we're going to discuss about something that's important. And I thank God that this month is a unique month, the month that we never forget in our life, because the testimony have just started in the mighty name of Jesus. And as many that are trust God and you have been knocking, and you have not seen results, the Almighty God will cause results for you in Jesus' name. So the topic before us this morning is knock, it shall be open. What did I say? How many of us when somebody knocked the door? Or what did they do now? They push button. Dunia can can. If we are at home, even the bell will wake you up. Am I correct? And what happened? At times, we something goes on in my. Is it those who are marketers that are pushing the bell, or is it a visitor? But nobody, you remain there, and the person, the bell is ringing. If the person know your phone number, what will happen? They will call you. Are you home? Because I'm by your door. So if they are not, they don't know your number. What happened? They will turn back. I pray for everyone this morning. They as you be knocking. You have been knocking for miracle. You have been knocking for breakthrough. That breakthrough will come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be no more delay in the mighty name of Jesus. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 5. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 5. Technical, if you slide it, fine. If not, me too. I have my big Bible, paper Bible here. Praise the Lord. Okay. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 5. He said, then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Please read along. Please read along. Because most of the time we lose hearts. We cannot tarry in the place of prayer. And at times we tarry in the place of prayer, nothing happens. We begin to lose heart. We begin to lose hope. And I pray for such people in our midst this morning that we will not lose that, we will not lose hope. As you pray, nothing happens, it will push you to pray more until something happens in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 2, saying, there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Verse 3, now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying, Get justice for me from my heart, verse 3, verse 4. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, 
Though I do not fear God, nor regard man, verse 5, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Ah, somebody will weary any, any Sambalat and Tobiah that will not give you what belongs to you. And they will have nothing to do but to give you your inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us quickly read Luke, I mean the book of Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Because we are basing our prayer and the word upon, upon these two Bible passages this morning. Matthew chapter 7, 7 and 8 say, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock. And it will be open to you. Verse 8. For everyone. Underline that word please. He said for everyone who ask. Receive. So don't tell me I've been praying, praying, praying. I did not receive. No. You have to check. Are you asking in line with the word of God? If your asking is in line with the will of God. Definitely you will receive. And he who seek finds. And to him who knock, it will be open. I pray for everyone this morning. Every door that you have been knocking, that has not been opened. By the reason of anointing in the house this morning, it shall be open unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. So the powerful principle of moving the hand of God to open door unto us. You remember, today is power must change hand. And for power to change hand, you must, the hand of God must be able to move. If hand of God did not move, nothing can move the hand of God. So the powerful principle of moving the hand of God to open doors unto us, it is the principle of knocking in what? Knocking in prayer. Knocking in prayer, knocking in worship, knocking in praising God. In Matthew chapter 7, 7 that we read, he said, ask any you, any of you will be given. Anything that you want will be given. What you ask for. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. So we see three levels of prayer here. In that Matthew 7, 7. Three levels of prayer as taught by our Lord Jesus Christ. And the first one is ask in prayer. Because when you ask, you don't just go stop only and say, give me now, give me now. No, it will not happen. In fact, it will make that parent to get upset that, excuse me, I work for my money. You need to ask in respect. So when you are asking something from God, you ask, that's level number one. You ask in prayer. And the second level is to seek God in prayer. You ask, you seek in prayer. And the third level is knocking. You knock, you knock. And that is why it will take you to the next level that when you are in the presence of God, thank God for the worship of today. When you are soaking, worshiping God, you don't even need to knock before it's open. Because it's your father and you have already praised him. In fact, he's already moved by your praise, by everything. You don't even need to knock. Because you already pray, you already worship, and you are there as you want to knock like this. Say, my daughter, my son, what did you need? And that shall be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. But what happened? Many people never get to the third level, which is knocking. It's a powerful and persistent prayer until something happens. But most of us, we never get to that level. Many people, they get tired. Many people, they get weary. Many people give up at the verge of their miracle. I pray for someone this morning. You will not give up at the verge of your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let us look at our case study. This woman. Jesus tells us the parable of a widow. This woman is a widow. And the Bible says this widow will continually knock at the door of the wicked judge in order to have justice done to her case. Has somebody cheated you? Has somebody misused you? Has somebody abused you? Has somebody taken what belongs to you unlawfully from you? And you think it's by fighting physically. No! 
you have to take it to the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he will avenge for you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is what this man did. Because the Bible says that this judge is a wicked judge. He does not know God. So the judge ordinarily would have ignored her. But her persistent knocking compelled the judge to give her justice. So when you ask in prayer, you use your mouth only. Am I correct? We use our mouth only. Asking, God, do this for me. God, do this for me. But when you seek in prayer, you use both your mouth and your eyes to diligently look for answer to your prayer. What am I talking about? When you are praying, you are praying, you are praying. But when you are seeking, you are looking, God is showing you revelation and you're able to see, you're able to move swiftly to that place that God has designed for you. I pray that the almighty God will open our eyes, even as we ask and we seek in the mighty name of Jesus. So by the time you begin to knock, knock, your hand is involved and you are ready to take it by force. And we see in the worship, you know, lifting up our hand, you know, you involve every part. You're not just moving, Father, do this for me. Ah, do this for me. But when you move it, or when all these three levels work in us, we're using our mouth to ask from God. At the same time, we're looking at our eyes like this, searching the scripture. When we say search, we are searching the scripture. You are going to know all the promise. You cannot just ask based on the people men ask because just like when the devil will tempt, you know, we all remember Joshua. When the devil brought him, and the Bible says it was filthy and everything. And he brought, because Satan is the accuser of the brethren. You don't know where you want to accuse. That's why we need to stand well. And I pray that you and I will stand well in the mighty name of Jesus. I say we will stand well in Jesus' name. So we do just open our mouth. We search the scripture to know the promises. Whatever we are going through somebody one way or the other they have passed through it in the bible there is a unique or similar person that have gone through it. is it injustice is it taking what belongs to you is it cheating whatever that you are going through is in the bible somebody has gone through it that's why it was written so that you and i can search the scripture and say yes upon this word i build my case and you begin to search and you are using the word of god to, uh, to request, to ask, and you search. And as you are doing that, you are praising God. Ah, Father, I thank you for the revelation. I thank you because it has happened. And this is how you brought the woman out. This is how you brought the man out. This is your word. And you are praising God. You are lifting your hand. Definitely something will happen. And I pray something will happen this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. So by the time you begin to knock, your hand is involved. And you are ready to take it by force. And I pray this morning, whatever the enemy has taken from you, you will recover them all in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, say, And he said, you know, he said things that we normally quote. We normally quote it, you know. And from the days of what? Of John the Baptist until now. Not then. From the time of John the Baptist until now. What happened? The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And what happened? The violent take it by force. You have to take what belongs to you. You can imagine if this widow has just said, okay, they have it. Okay, the mighty, he said, if they have your coat, leave them. Okay, take my coat. The Bible says he will not allow this wicked judge to rest until the judge say, ah, if I allow this woman, this woman will kill me with her trouble. Let me just give her what belongs to her. And I pray as many that something has been taken away from you. Is it your health? Is it your finances? Is it your job? Whatever it is, the almighty God, God of restoration, will restore them back unto you in Jesus' name. But you have to open your mouth. An open mouth is open destiny. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. An open mouth will make your heaven to be open. But if you close your mouth, your heaven will be closed. I pray that your heaven will not be closed in Jesus' name. So, up to that day, the kingdom of God sovereign violence up to now, but you have to take it by force.
force in the mighty name of Jesus. What happened to Jacob? Jacob is another example. Jacob knocked in prayer when he wrestled with angel all night, all night. And when it's in the morning, the angel wants to go. Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And he said, what is your name? And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob. He shall be called Israel. You will see that account in the book of Genesis chapter 32. How about Ezekiah? Ezekiah knocked in prayer when he faced the wall and prayed tearfully prayer in the book of Isaiah chapter 38. You remember God sent Isaiah that he's going to die. That Ezekiah is going to die. What did he do? Did he say, ah, are you, you, this? The Bible says he turned to the wall and began to reread that chapter 38, Isaiah 38. He turned to the wall and began to remind God all those beautiful things that he has done. Oh, he pleaded his case. Someone need to plead their case. And I pray that the almighty God will help you. You will open your mouth and you will plead your case. And as you plead your case, everyone will be at a lot to help you, to support you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the Isaiah tearfully pleaded his case. And what happened? Before prophet Isaiah get to the gates, almighty God spoke and said, go back. Tell him that I've added another 15 years. The almighty God is saying to someone this morning, whatever things that you thought you have lost is the God of restoration. And people say you can never gain it again. What makes it special is that they've ridiculed you, they've relegated you, they say you can never get it again. Get ready. Because the almighty God is about to do a new thing for you. He's about to restore you back in Jesus' name. When you look at the case of the Canaanite woman, the Canaanite woman, a knock in prayer when she will not be moved by insult and she prayed to the Lord in Matthew chapter 25. If you look at the account, he, you know, he did a lot of insult. The disciples said, send her away. Mm, she's not moved. I'd like it to a dog. She will not move. Did she get a miracle? Yes, she got a miracle. And I pray that the Lord Sida is a miracle center. You will get your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you trusting God for the fruit of the womb? What happened to Anna? Anna knocked in prayer when she was in deep anguish and cried bitterly for a son. You will see the account in the book of First Samuel chapter 1 verse 10. The Bible describes it. It's indescribable. The way Anna was crying unto the Lord. He was the matter. Even the priest thought that she was drunk. I pray that the God that answer Anna will Anna you, answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. What happened to Daniel? Daniel knocked in prayer as he disbanded the prince of Persia and lose his angel of blessing. You will see that account in the because immediately he prayed, God answer. But the Bible said the prince of Persia. We said for how many days he, he could not get answer until Michael, Angel Michael has to fight with the sword. Whatever is delaying your answer, the almighty God will raise the host of heaven, the angel, and they will fight and your miracle, your answer will be released unto you in the name that is above every other name. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. So all the people we have mentioned this morning, we mentioned Jacob, we mentioned Ezekiah, we mentioned the Canaanite woman, we mentioned Anna, we mentioned Daniel. All above mentioned saints of prayer at their doors of answer prayer, open as they knock aggressively. So we need to knock aggressively. Their door was open because what? They knock door aggressively. So if you and I, we do likewise this morning. The Lord will open that door for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will command the door of heaven, heavenly visitation and divine attention. Open without delay for us in Jesus' name. Now, when you look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 8, let us go back to one of our Bible tests this morning. That verse 8 is very unique, and I want you to underline it. And we're going to pray right now because his power must change and Verse 8 say, everyone, there is no segregation. There is no discrimination. The Bible say, everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, find. 
and him who knock it will be open. Shall we rise up on our feet this morning? Let us rise up on our feet, even as every one of us ask, ask from the Lord, as we seek from the Lord, as we knock in prayer this morning. I want you to go ahead and begin to praise God, who hears and answers prayer. Open your mouth, begin to praise him, begin to praise the King of Kings. Praise him, praise him, King of glory, praise him. Praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise him, praise him, King of glory, praise him. Praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise him, praise him, King of glory, praise him. Praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. I want you to open your mouth this morning and begin to thank the Lord for many doors of answer prayer that he has opened in time past. Because if you say he has not done anything to us, we are lying, oh, for the fact that you were able to escape two years of lockdown, two years of COVID, he preserved you and you are here this morning. It is by his mercy. Go ahead and begin to thank him. Thank him for many doors of answer prayer. Thank him. We will pray. <laughs> that time, that's the first time you see people from coast to coast, from nation to nation, from all over, even the unbeliever. They were praying because this is the COVID was an invisible enemy. Nobody know the whole world was in panic mode. The whole world was in distress, but they prayed. They tell us, go ahead and begin to thank God for answer prayer that he has opened, that he has opened in the time past. Let us thank him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. We want to go before the Lord this morning and say, my father, my bad father, baptize my life afresh with the spirit of prayer and intercession. Open your mouth and cry unto the Lord. Father, baptize my life afresh, O Lord, with the spirit of prayer, with the spirit of intercession. Baptize my life afresh, O Lord. Baptize my life afresh, O Lord, with the spirit of prayer and spirit of intercession. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. We are still crying unto the Lord and say, My Father, my Father, increase my faith, O Lord. Increase my faith. You know, most of the time, our faith, thank God for the exhortation this morning during the workers' meeting. You know, faith without work is nothing, it's dead. So you must, first of all, have faith in your work, in whatever, without faith. There can not be increased. So that's why you're going to repeat that prayer and say, my father, my father, increase my faith, oh Lord. Increase my faith in you, oh Lord. Increase my faith, oh Lord. Increase my faith, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're still praying and say, my father, my father, let the blood of Jesus, Jesus, purge my life from every sin, blocking my prayer. Every sin that is blocking my prayer, let the blood of Jesus purge me. Let the blood of blood of Jesus purge my purge my life from every sin that is blocking my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God of heaven, open heavens over me. Let the heavens over me be open. Open your mouth and cry unto the Lord, my Father, my Father. God of heaven and the earth, let the heavens over me be open. Let the heavens over me be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You know, at times when God is about to do something, just like I told us, you know, when the de Joshua, the devil come to report Joshua. So we are going to silence every contrary spirit. We're going to say, my father, my father, silence every contrary wind blowing against my family. Every contrary wind blowing against my marriage. Silence is so lost. Silence them this morning. Father, silence every contrary wind blowing against my business the father silence every contrary wind blowing against my job blowing against my family in the mighty name of jesus 
In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. We are going into prayer proper this morning. We are going to cry unto the Lord and say, My Father, my Father, every principality and power assigned against my heavenly glory. Ah, let the fire, let it catch the fire. Let the fire of the Lord consume it, O Lord. Every principality and power assigned against my breakthrough, assigned against my glory, assigned against my knocking, my receiving from Lord. Let the fire of God consume, O Lord, and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying unto the Lord. Say, my Father, my Father. Lord Jesus, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in my life. Every wickedness of the wicked, Father, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Every wickedness of the wicked, Father, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Every satanic resistance of my breakthrough, every satanic resistance of my breakthrough, I resist you in the name of Jesus. I resist you in the name of Jesus. I resist you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Remember, we talk of Daniel, the prince of Persia, will not allow the answer to come immediately. Meanwhile, God has answered him. You're going to cry unto the Lord and say, My father, my father, every prince of Persia, we told him, we told him my answer prayer. Let it be paralyzed. Let them be paralyzed. Every prince of Persia, we told him my answer prayer. Be paralyzed in the name that is above every other name. In Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying unto the Lord. Say, my father, my father, door of glory, open by fire for me. Door of glory, open by fire for me. Open by fire for my family. Open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My door of help and epas, open by fire. My door of help and epas, open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying unto the Lord. Say, my father, my father. Every umbrella of darkness blocking my reign of joy, blocking my reign, my, my, my reign of victory, let it catch fire and be destroyed. Every umbrella of darkness blocking my reign of joy, blocking my reign of victory, blocking my reign of testimony, blocking my reign of victory, of new beginning. Let it catch fire. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. It be destroyed. In Jesus Mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying unto the Lord. Say, my father, my father. Power to knock until it is open. Let it fall upon me. Let it fall upon me, O Lord. Power to knock, O Lord, until it is open. Let it fall mightily on me, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power to knock until it is open. Fall on me mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. You are going to cry unto the Lord and say, My Father, my Father, every plan of darkness to frustrate my prayer life, he shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of the darkness to frustrate my prayer life shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not let you go until you bless me, O oh Lord. I will not let you go just the way Jacob cried and you change Jacob's name. My father, my father, I will not let you go until you bless me. I will not let you go until you bless me in the name that is above every other name in jesus mighty name we are praying we're still crying unto the lord this morning we're rounding up now we're going to cry unto the lord and say my father my father every power of pharaoh holding me down in bondage Break into pieces. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every power of Pharaoh holding me down in bondage. Oh, break, 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 break into pieces. Break by fire this morning. Break by fire this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still crying unto the land. Say, My father, my father, have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Hear me as I knock in prayer. 
Open to me why the door of grace. Open unto me why the doors of favor. Open unto me why the doors of breakthrough. Open unto me why the Lord. Open unto me why the Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. Hear me as I knock, O Lord, in prayer. Open unto me why the doors of grace, the doors of favor, the doors of breakthrough, the doors of new beginning, the doors of joy. The doors of peace, O oh Lord. The doors of new beginning, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are prayed. Let us go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Let us thank God for answer prayer. Because that is his word according to the book of Matthew chapter 7. Verse 7 to 7. 7 to 8. Verse 10. Say, everyone who asks will receive. Father, we thank you, O Lord. We thank you because as we have answered you, as we have called on you this morning, you will answer all our prayers, O Lord. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Blessed be to your name, O Lord. Glory and adoration to your name, O Lord. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for the way you confiscate the weapons of the enemy. Thank you for how you put enemy to shame. Thank you because we are moving forward. We are moving forward. In our career, we are moving forward. In our home, we are moving forward. In our finances, we are moving forward. In our heads, we are moving forward. In the name that is above every other name. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Blessed be to your name, O Lord. Glory, glory, honor, adoration to your holy name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. 